questions, Ms. Farrell? Thank you, ma'am. Oh, sorry. No, I was just saying it was really good. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone else that would like to speak in favor of this case? So please come forward. Is there anyone that would like to speak against this case? Please come forward, sir. State your name and address. commercial to bring more businesses to the already um, Bemis has been unincorporated for quite a long time and further densing uh, putting more dense housing in this area is not going to include that um, the other question I would have uh, and I guess this is more in relation to the project itself um, is for setbacks uh, the project there lists a 30 foot uh, landscape buffer between that fence line and the properties to the uh, west that's still not going to be sufficient even for three-story uh, housing um, our neighborhood has already had to deal with a project in Patriots Place of the two-story uh, units uh, on the back side of Barrington where there is uh, based off of since I am not a surveyor myself, the distance between the properties looks to be about 14 feet between a two-story house and a single-story house. So if the project does not follow those guidelines of 30 feet, then it's going to be even worse for the residents of the neighborhood behind us, or behind it. Um, any questions for me? Any questions for the speaker? Thank you, sir. Is there anyone else that would like to speak against this case this evening? Anyone else that would like to speak against this case this evening? Seeing no one, that will close the public hearing portion of this case. Commissioners, any comments or further questions for staff? Uh, this one, again, I'm just concerned. I guess I should ask Mr. Morell about the parking, reducing from two to one and a half. I, I am concerned with that. Uh, <clears throat> a lot of conflicts 
premises apartment have one space per resident. And if you have visitors, relatives, or whatever, where are they going to park? Well, so we, we have not found it as necessary to have two, two parking spaces per unit in our family properties. And that's, I think that's because most of our residents have one vehicle. You know, it's usually single parents with kids or, you know, small families with one vehicle. So, I mean, it hasn't been an issue for us. It's not going to be low income housing. It is tax credit housing. It is. Because it is on famous that it's going to be uh, your target audience is obviously going to be people who are stationed out at duty and those families usually only have one car. Um, but one thing I do want to ask is about the on-call transit. What are you referring to in your justification letter that you have on-call transit? We do not have specific on-call transit. I'm assuming that was something copied from a, a different application we made, and it refers to Lowndes County on call transit serving our town. Gotcha. <clears throat> the units are all going to be two bedroom, two bath units? No, we have some one, twos, and threes. Mm -hmm. And we're heavy on the twos. I don't, know, I don't have the breakdown. Any other questions for this lady? Thank you, Thank you, All right, I will now entertain a motion on this case. This one to be had. Can I, can I readdress from hers to the board? I'm sorry, sir. No, sir. She, 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 was, she was brought back up. I understand. But she was asked to come back up. Is there a motion on this case? Mr. Chairman, regarding REZ 2024-03, um, I, I think this is, um, the, as I mentioned, the target audience, I think this is perfect for that area. Um, the property has definitely been an eyesore for quite some time, and I think this is a good use of the property. So, that again, I recommend that um, to the county that we approve REZ 2024-03. We have a recommendation to... For approval from Commissioner Roundtree, is there a second? I'll second. Second by Commissioner Miller. All those in favor of the recommendation to approve? 